most crazy flying machines that will make you question what's possible in the world of aviation. In today's video, we will look at some of the crazy flying machines that actually work. Before getting into the video, please make sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon. Let's dive in. Number 10, Jetpack JB-11V. The Jetpack JB-11 is a device that is worn like a backpack and uses jet propulsion to allow a person to fly. It is developed by a company called Jetpack Aviation. The JB-11 is capable of reaching altitudes of up to 15,000 feet and can fly at speeds of up to 75 miles an hour. The device is powered by a combination of turbine and jet engines, which are fed by diesel fuel. It is designed to be flown by trained pilots and is currently used for military and special operations training as well as for civilian flight demonstrations. The company has also developed a more recent version called JB-11V with more advanced features and capabilities. Number 9. Flyboard Air The Flyboard Air is a personal flight device developed by Zapata Racing. It is a type of hoverboard that uses jet propulsion to lift the rider into the air. It utilizes four independent turbine engines to provide lift and thrust, allowing the rider to fly at altitudes of up to 15,000 feet and at speeds of up to 93 miles per hour. The rider controls the flyboard air using a control module that is worn on the wrist, which allows them to control the device's altitude, direction, and speed. The flyboard air is designed to be flown by trained pilots and is currently used for demonstrations, training, and research. It's considered one of the most advanced personal flight devices, and it's still under development. Number 8. Aerocycle an aerocycle is a type of aircraft that combines features of both airplanes and helicopters. It typically has fixed wings for lift, but also has rotors for vertical takeoff and landing. These type of aircraft have not yet been developed for practical use, but they have been studied and proposed as a potential solution for some of the limitations of current aircraft designs. Number 7. Lift Aircraft Hexa Lift Aircraft Hexa is a type of electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft developed by Lift Aircraft, a company based in Texas, USA. The Hexa is a hexacopter, meaning it has six rotors, which allow it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but it can also fly horizontally like a fixed wing aircraft. The Hexa is powered by a combination of batteries and electric motors, which allows it to be quiet and emission free. The Hexa is designed to be flown by a pilot, but it also has autonomous flight capabilities, which allows it to fly itself under certain conditions. It's designed for short range travel, and it can carry up to one passenger with a max range of about 30 minutes of flight. The Lyft Aircraft Hexa is still under development and is not yet available for commercial use. The company has been testing and demonstrating the Hexa in recent years, and it's expected to be used for various applications such as tourism, transportation, and aerial photography. Number 6. Hoverbike S3 Hoverbike S3 is a type of hoverbike developed by Hoversurf, a Russian company. The S3 is a quadcopter drone that is designed to carry a rider. It's powered by a combination of batteries and electric motors, which allows it to lift off and land vertically, and also fly horizontally. The S3 has a top speed of around 40 miles an hour and a flight time of around 25 minutes. The Hoverbike S3 can be controlled by a rider using a flight controller, or it can be flown autonomously using GPS waypoints. It's designed to be used in a variety of applications, such as search and rescue, emergency response, and industrial inspections, as well as for recreational use. The Hoverbike S3 is still in development and is not yet available for commercial purchase. Hoversurf has been testing and demonstrating the S3 in recent years and is working on certifying the device with aviation authorities. Number 5. Gravity Jet Suit the Gravity Jet Suit, also known as the Gravity Industries Jet Suit, is a wearable device that uses jet propulsion to allow a person to fly. It is developed by Gravity Industries, a company founded by British inventor and former Royal Marine Richard Browning. The Jet Suit is worn like a backpack and uses five miniaturized jet engines, four on the arms and one on the back to provide thrust for lift and movement. The suit is controlled by the pilot using body movement and hand controls. The jet suit is capable of reaching speeds of up to 96 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour, and can fly at an altitude of up to 12,000 feet. It is designed for use in a variety of applications, including emergency response, search and rescue, and industrial inspections, as well as entertainment and stunts. 
It's important to note that this kind of flight is considered extremely dangerous and requires rigorous training, only performed by highly trained pilots with advanced aircraft and safety measures. The jet suit is not yet commercially available, but the company has been testing and demonstrating the technology, and it has been used in some shows and events. Number 4. Terrafusia Flying Car Terrafusia is a company based in the United States that is developing a flying car known as the Terrafusia Transition. The Transition is a rotable aircraft, meaning it can both fly and drive on the ground. It is designed to be flown by a pilot and can take off and land on both runways and roads. The Transition is powered by a 100 horsepower Rotex 912 IS sport engine and can fly at a maximum speed of 100 knots, 115 miles an hour, and has a maximum flight range of 400 nautical miles. On the road, it can reach speeds of up to 65 miles an hour. The Terrafusia has made several prototypes of the Transition and it has undergone several testing. The Terrafusia Transition is not yet available for commercial purchase, but the company is working towards certification and production of the aircraft. The Terrafusia aims to make the Transition a practical and convenient mode of transportation for people who need to travel both by air and by road for their work or personal use. Number 3. Lazareth LMV-496 The Lazareth LMV-496 is a four-wheeled motorcycle developed by Lazareth Automoto, a French company. The LMV-496 is unique in that it is able to transition from a traditional two-wheeled motorcycle to a four-wheeled car, allowing the rider to switch between riding and driving modes. The bike is powered by a 496cc V-twin engine and can reach a top speed of approximately 150 kilometers an hour, 93 miles an hour, in motorcycle mode, and around 110 kilometers an hour, 68 miles an hour, in car mode. The LMV 496 has an advanced suspension system, which allows wheels to extend outwards, providing stability when on four wheels, and retracts when on two wheels. It also features a changeable frame system, which allows the rider to change the frame of the bike to suit their needs. It also has a fully enclosed cockpit, which provides protection from the elements. Number 2. Zeppelin Hindenburg The Hindenburg was a large German commercial passenger airship that was operated by the Deutsche Zeppelin Reedery during the 1930s. It was designed and built by the German airship company Luftschiffbau Zeppelin. The Hindenburg was one of the largest aircraft ever built with a length of 245 meters and a maximum diameter of 41 meters. It was powered by four Daimler-Benz diesel engines and was filled with hydrogen gas, which provided lift. The Hindenburg could reach a top speed of 135 kilometers an hour, 84 miles an hour, and had a range of around 12,000 kilometers. It could carry up to 72 passengers and a crew of 61. Number 1. Gliders A glider is a type of aircraft that's designed to fly without a machine. Gliders are typically launched into the air by being towed by a powered aircraft or by being launched from a winch or a vehicle-mounted hydraulic launch system. Once in the air, gliders can maintain altitude by exploiting rising currents of air, such as thermal updrafts or ridge lift. Gliders are typically constructed from lightweight materials such as aluminum and composite materials and have a sleek aerodynamic design. They are controlled by the pilot using a control stick and rudder pedals, which control the movement of the elevators, aerolions, and rudder. Gliders are used for a variety of purposes, including recreation, sport, and scientific research. Glider pilots often compete in gliding competitions where they try to fly as far as possible or complete specific tasks in the shortest amount of time. Gliders are also used in the military for training and reconnaissance and in the field of atmospheric research. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We will reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.